Elites, welcome back. We gather here today to witness something very ceremonious, very special. This is the start of, of a great kingdom right here. Over here we have Buzz, Buzz, distant cousin, and then over here we have Velma. Velma 2.0 B version is the full name for that one. Right here, this is something special. A lilac right there, your favorite flower. And lilac right here, your second favorite flower. And now they do the magical dance. And look at it, it's a brand new child right there. We'll give you some food too. It's a special moment and it's the start of bee repopulation. A gigantic operation that will eventually result in like, uh, let's see, we have like 24 beehives in here, 24 times three. Yep, work it out times three again. That many bees inside of this building. And I mean, hey, while we're at it, we'll shoot our shot. Ark, there here you go. Velma, there you go. Let's see. Maybe something new. Hopefully something new. Okay. That's something new. It's at least not the Roly Panda. Nice. So we're back over at the old mines. First, who remembers this? It feels like we built this thing like like a million years ago, which I honestly, at this point, we kind of did. It's been like a long time. I haven't been under here in a minute. We're heading down over here for Obsidian. Today is the day, people. Mission Mesa is getting finished for once and for all. I seriously can't explain how badly I need and want a Mesa biome. The Terracotta. The Terracotta would be so amazing in so many different types of builds, but we still haven't found the Mesa. But today, today that all changes entirely. It's going to change for once and for all and forever. So almost a stack of obsidian. That's pretty good. We should have more than enough. Now I have to be honest, I kind of feel bad about doing a bunch of exploration episodes lately because I feel like you guys like want to go see me do something like go build a farm or, or even just build a building or, or trade with the villagers or something. And I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I, I know I feel bad too, but I need the mesa biome. I seriously need it. I need it so bad. I, 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 like I said, I can't even explain how bad I need it at this point. Now, yeah, I see a bunch of comments all the time telling me, hey, Waddles, you know, you could just smelt the, the clay up and you get, you get the terracotta. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, but it's not efficient. You see, if we could find a mesa biome and then set up a beacon over in the mesa biome, and this beacon doesn't even really have to be much of a beacon, we could actually mine terracotta like instantaneously and efficiently, which are two things that combine into one really, really, really nice thing now exploration today today we're going to explore with portals because it's a little bit faster now honestly I don't know if this is going to necessarily work I'm really hoping it works so uh, we're going to head back out to the ice biome today we don't have any maps I'm not worried about maps at all until I find a mesa biome if I find a mesa biome I may reconsider that opinion but until then, it's no maps. I figured we would start over here by the ice spikes biome because this is a pretty long ways from home and we haven't really explored out here very much. The area that we've explored has been back basically where I just ran through and cut through. Now, if I were to go through this portal right now, like I'm going to do, we would be, uh-huh, uh-huh, in the ice spikes. Now, uh, we explored like a lot over that way, not as much over that way though. I'm thinking though, if we go back into the portal and maybe go like 100 blocks that way first and throw a portal down, maybe we'll get lucky, maybe? So another portal exploration. Let's talk about it a little bit because we haven't done it at all in this world quite yet. Nether portal exploration is actually pretty simple if you're up at the top of the nether. In fact, you could actually be even higher up in the nether. Like right now, we're at the top of the nether. You could even do this like on top of the nether, like, you know, like above the bedrock and just run around and make portals. That actually, Honestly, might be a better way to do things. So one block in the nether is equal to eight blocks in the overworld. It's honestly kind of absurd. That's what we've been using to travel to farther places, you know, with like those ice highways and portals, all of that type of stuff. Yeah, that's great. Well, we can actually use that same exact mechanic for exploring long distances in our world. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I've gone about 100 blocks out from the original portal by the ice spikes biome. All we're going to do is create another portal and we're not even going to worry about this nether portal because I don't know if it's going to stay. So we're just going to throw another portal in just like this. I'll take that back though. Thank you very much. Then we're going to light it and go through and hopefully we're somewhere interesting. If we're somewhere interesting, like, like, like the Mesa biome, then we're going to keep it. If we're down in a cave system, well, then we're going to have to make our way back up to the surface to see what is actually over here. Now, just in case, I don't know if we're going to have like an ocean over here or something. So we'll dig down so the water doesn't spill everywhere. And now all we need to do is just get right back up to the surface and see where we're at. But I guess, you know, technically speaking, I wouldn't even have to go to the surface. I could press F3 and check the biome. Yeah, Minecraft ocean. Okay, good to know. 
but I still would like to go up to the surface and see what's here because you never know maybe like you're in an ocean and you're like near the maze of biome that, that you really desperate okay I'm gonna stop alrighty we've hit the surface of the ocean you know what let's actually dig this out and get rid of that thank you uh what do we have let's actually make a tower here too so I don't lose that hole that would be really bad what are we near anything cool okay technically yes oh this is where I couldn't find the foxes before all right garbage so when something unfortunate like that happens this is really painful guys this is really painful to get down this is bad well when something painful and unfortunate and tragic like that happens what do you do you go back down a hey, clog this up because we don't want water down here we're going to take the corners off of the portal after i look around really quick and just see what's down here we're down at diamond level so i mean you never know right uh but it doesn't look like it i'll take the iron and the lapis though why not redstone too okay you're cool uh diamonds how about that no a little bit more lapis okay okay redstone uh lava okay i don't see any diamonds we're wasting our time so when a portal generates like when you make one in the nether and then you pop it into the overworld even if you don't put corners on the portal in the nether corners will be on the portal when you go to the overworld now we're gonna need this portal intact to get back into the nether of course but technically speaking here we can make a little bit of profit off of those corners which absolutely sure because after a couple portals i'll have enough obsidian from the original portals to just make a new portal it's an idea that's absolutely glowing to me I, I love it but this portal no luck there if you try this and you have something that's insanely boring uninteresting like that one then go back into the nether take the portal down and try again now technically that portal is going to be left in the overworld but it's really not that big of a deal we're, we're never going to go there so uh we are currently at 256 let's try this again we'll go maybe about 100 blocks and then we'll, we'll make another portal now how far should you go well really it's not an exact science i recommend going like 100 blocks minimum though because otherwise what's the point to just travel the distance in the overworld so 100 blocks or so that's really what i recommend doing i feel like with 100 blocks you cover a lot of space i mean remember 100 blocks in the nether that's going to multiply out to 800 blocks in the overworld that's definitely a lot of distance so let's jump through here hopefully 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 something's good if there's nothing good we're turning around and going the other way okay 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 we're not in a cave that makes things a whole lot easier it's the middle of the night uh, what do we have okay zombies okay fine fine i'm fine we'll roll it to the date really quick all righty here let's, let's just go ahead and get up here away from the mobs that's gonna make my life easier oh that's cool that's a really cool looking horse and a baby horse too oh that's amazing but uh other than that it looks like we're maybe like on an island which, no no maybe not maybe not uh yeah it's a plains biome which is cool it would be nice if there were sunflowers over here still don't have any of those but doesn't really look like anything interesting is actually over here so unfortunately that's gonna be a no-go however i need to look i i need to just give it a shot i have the elytra i could glide down over here and see if this turns into a sunflowers plains biome please sunflowers i i can't believe we haven't found any sunflowers quite yet i mean it's sunflowers and a certain specific biome that i really really could use that that i haven't found in this world quite yet yeah honestly it's very shocking oh this is interesting if i keep going this way it's a desert over there which is kind of cool uh interesting nice but no sunflowers so back to the portal for me but before we go there we'll leave a tribute out here in the wild all right so that's gonna have to be a little bit of a bummer but like i said if there was nothing interesting this way we'd actually backtrack and go the other way and try making portals kind of like past the ice spikes biome where i actually haven't explored quite yet maybe we'll get lucky over there oh no nether horse nether horse no, no 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 go back to the overworld there you go with your family with your friends don't come into the nether again you don't want to live here because this is going to be very lonely and isolated all right so i got the corners off of that portal took it down now it's time to head back the way we came cross past the ice bikes portal and make a portal over there well, let's go maybe like a hundred blocks past the ice bikes portal or uh, because i do have a hallway well no i already know where that goes yeah 100 blocks past this portal all right so this portal is going to be at 350 about let's go ahead and go all the way to 450 have a little bit of a hallway here this hallway goes to where the other foxes are which we'll definitely be using again but let's just go ahead and branch off of it right here yeah the nice thing about netherite and, and diamond and enchantments and everything is this gets insanely easy already at 450 come on all right time for portal number three i can't play subsidian for the life of me okay uh, let's see where are we now we look to be uh, in, in the ocean next to the tundra so yeah we probably just didn't go far enough because i feel like this is probably space that i've kind of already seen so 
You know how it is. Corners, you're coming with me. Now, honestly, if you wanted to get, like, really clever here and profit, like, a lot off of this, you could write down where these portals are in the overworld, like, somewhere, like, take a screenshot, write it down, something like that, and then when you're done, fly around from portal to portal to portal in the overworld to clean everything up and take every single portal down. Y you definitely could do that. <laughs> You'd have to be kind of desperate for, like, obsidian, like... At that point, like, 8 obsidian, is it worth it? I added 10, probably not, but you could. In, in theory, you could, and this is basically like an obsidian generator, sort of. All right, though, so yeah, 100 blocks definitely wasn't enough. Let's go ahead and go 100 more blocks. So this time, we're going to go all the way to 550, straight down this way. Uh, straight down that way. All right, let's go. 550. 550 is our portal right here. This is the move. This is the final portal that we're going to have to make of the entire episode. We'll be done in no time right here. It's going to be perfect. Exactly what I've always wished for, dreamed for, hoped for, wanted, expected, needed, everything good like that. This is the portal. Okay, we're in the ocean. We're in the ocean. This is most likely not the portal. We have a little bit of extra obsidian if I wanted to this time. Yeah, this is most likely not the portal. I, I think I was just fed incorrect info. Snow still. Really? Snow still? How big is this tundra biome? It's a beautiful ocean, though. I have to say, I think this is lukewarm ocean. Yeah, lukewarm ocean. It's a beautiful color. It's very nice. It's just not the clay. Oh, that's cool. It's just not the clay color that I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay, and this time, because it's such a weird portal... I don't think I'm even going to bother with the corners. All right, so the 100 block method, it's not working. And somehow we're still in the tundra. This is what I'm thinking. We'll use this spot right here as sort of like a central hub. And now maybe we'll go 200 blocks out in every direction and try that. Maybe 200 blocks. We'll, we'll get us somewhere. I'm getting really desperate at this point. So yeah, 200 blocks from this central hub. So uh, let's see here. Let's go 200 blocks down this way first, which is going to take us all the way to... Actually, that kind of works out, like, perfectly. That's going to take us all the way to, like, positive 100. About. All right, here we are. The gold marks the way. I've been nothing but nice to gold this entire series. It marks the way. It wouldn't betray me. Ever. Well, 200 blocks is a lot more space. Let's see. Okay, we're in a cave uh, that is in a lukewarm ocean. A deep, lukewarm ocean. That is beautiful. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And I saw that it was turning to nighttime. So let's go ahead and sleep really quick. I love the deep, war lukewarm ocean. I, 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 I love it. Best friend. Well, at least I didn't have to dig as much this time. That is kind of nice. Same deal though we'll make this pillar right here so i don't lose the hole let's see what do we have anything cool up here hopefully there's something cool oh wow this is like really deep actually anything cool uh savannah okay that's interesting um but other than that it doesn't really look like it i probably should have brought like rockets or something Rockets would have been, like, genius, actually. Okay, we're back where we started. So, I just ran all the way back to the base. I got rockets. I can't believe it. I forgot rockets. It's been so long since I've done this, since I've had to do this. You want to have rockets. Always want to have rockets. Also, I forgot to take the portal down down there, but it's 200 blocks away. So, I don't want to worry about it, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave it there. Now, we have to dig the 750. But, rockets. Rockets, rockets. I'll always remember rockets when you're doing this. The odds of you landing in the exact biome that you're looking for when doing this, like, like you build the portal, go into the overworld, and boom, you're in the biome. Yeah, th that's probably not going to happen. That's very, very unlikely. If you have an elytra and you're doing this 100,000%, bring rockets so you can soar around and look around the general area. You could bring some rockets and fly around, like maybe like 200 blocks around the portal in every direction. If you do things that way, you'll get a better idea as to what's around that portal and if that portal is worth it or not. Let's see though. What are we at now? We're in another cold biome. Okay, very nice. And, and it's nighttime. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll sleep first, then we'll fly around just a little bit. So yeah, the thing with this method is it's really just all guesswork of luck. Like basically a shot in the dark. An igloo, that's cool. But yeah, there's no guarantee here. We're really just hoping that we end up getting lucky and seeing something somewhat interesting. Hey, a village over there too. Okay, fine, fine. I'll make a quick stop. I'm fine. It's not exploration episodes. We're not worried about cats, okay? We're, we're just we're just here for the bell the bell, and, and nothing else, okay? The bell, thank you very much. Maybe I'll come back to this place one day. Maybe not. This snowy biome, the, the snowy biomes, I guess, they seem to be absolutely massive in this world. Like, this is crazy. Like, we've gone, like, a really long ways now at this point. I mean, we're all the way, to, way out at, like, 6,000, and we're still in these snowy biomes. 
That is like absurd. All right, but that's gonna be that. Back into the nether, take this portal down, back to the center, and then 200 blocks the other direction. So really at this point, if I have to make a like a nice highway out to the maze biome, which I probably will do once we find it, but at this point, it's going to be like a really, really long hallway. Like it might be to the point of like maybe if we can find the mesa and then get like really lucky and find a cave system in that same biome, we can find like a skeleton farm. So then there's like, you know, like at least a little bit more of a reason to actually come out here. Oh, Oh, okay, okay, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take, yeah, that, that's great, that's great, a as a small consolation, oh, this is gonna be annoying, uh, as a small consolation prize, I will accept ancient debris, that, 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 that's a good payment, okay, so we have only gone like 50 blocks, so it's definitely not time to just, just shoot our shot and make a portal, I think what we want to do instead is maybe just staircase up past that whole gap stuff, Hopefully, okay, yep, we're gonna hit the ceiling. That's fine, that's okay. Hopefully we can like get through here without having to make too much of a bridge because making a bunch of bridges is a huge waste of time. Uh, so hopefully this is like just a small spot where I have to, I, I really hope. This is honestly kind of crazy. This might be like the farthest drop, f farthest drop possible. Like we're all the way up here at Bedrock, yeah. And then that drop, that wouldn't be good. All right, this should be about 200 blocks right here. Yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, now time for a portal right here at literally the very top of the nether. And then hopefully this is the one. Kind of like how you can dig through netherrack with your hand. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but here we go, portal. All right, and now here it is. Here it is, the Mesa biome. Come on, please, come on. Good friend, good friend, good friend, good friend, good friend. No, that's a ravine. That's insanely dangerous. Where are we? Snowy beach, R really, snowy beach, okay. Okay, that's, this is wonderful. It's snowy. I love it. Well, here we are. We've made it. We finally made it all the way up to the surface at the, the uh, snowy beach. Exactly where we need to be. Okay, yeah, this looks like this isn't exactly the spot. I think we're going to have to go back into the portal and try it again. Oh, and now that I've left my portal, like, you know, isolated down in the cave system, it's not like there are a bunch of mobs. So, you know what? I'm not worried about the corners this time. We're just gonna go right on through. Hopefully nothing's in here. Okay, we're clear. All right, time to try again. So, here's what I'm thinking this time. We're 200 blocks out again. I, I branched out and everything like that. We've already explored every single other option from that other hub, the, you know, the hub that we were just at a second ago. This time, I think maybe we'll, we'll do the same thing but maybe 300 blocks from, from this hub. And what we're going to do is skip this direction right there because that's the direction to, that goes back like generally towards home. So basically, uh, out this direction and that direction. 300 blocks now. So 300 blocks is going to be all the way to X850 in the nether. Check it out, we're not quite at 850, we're like almost there, 827, that's probably fine, it's like pretty close. This should give us a pretty decent idea as to what's over here, hopefully no more snow. I'm kind of done with the snow now at this point, it was cool like last episode, it's not cool anymore. Uh, you know, it would be cool though, do I even have to say to the- <gasps> Um, yeah, yeah, That that's really cool, I, I like that a, a lot. <gasps> <laughs> no, 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 it's done. It's over. It's over. I don't have to do this anymore. No, 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 no. This isn't, no, this isn't, this isn't real. No, 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 this is, I, it's a, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, it's over. It, it's actually, it, it, it's actually over. No way. You don't understand how big of a moment this is right here. Right here is 6603. That's a beautiful number. That's a good number. That's a solid number. Negative 24, 13. That's another nice number. That's a good number. Okay, that's that's a really strong number. That's a good set of. Okay, yeah, this is amazing. This is a this a, that's a Mesa biome. That's a Badlands biome. That's whatever you want to call it. You only call it the Mesa biome. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. Oh, and it's next to a frozen ocean too. Okay, that's kind of cool. We could double up and have this be like where we get ice from and terracotta from. That's pretty cool. But then again, this the hills aren't very good. Oh, wow. This is amazing. We've done it. Portal exploration is the way to go uh, when you're trying to find the Mesa biome. Oh, and this place looks gigantic. There is so much terracotta here. So much more terracotta than I could ever ask for. This is so cool. 
Okay, so it actually... I think what we want to do... Well, what do we want to do? Do we want to leave the portal where it is, which is right there next to a solid harvesting spot for, for terracotta? Or do we want to try and... And maybe see if we can get the portal closer to where we live. Because you see, we live at like 900, uh, 1670, like, like 900, 1700. And this is really far. So a uh, part of me says at this point, it doesn't even matter. But the other part of me says, how far does it go this way? Like, look at this. We could cut off a couple hundred blocks if we were to put our portal like in the nether over here. But then again, it's like a couple hundred... Okay, yeah, it's probably not even worth it at this point. Probably not. All that matters is that we found a Mesa biome. This is groundbreaking. This is amazing. This is something that I have been lacking for 80 episodes. 8-0, count them. You don't even need you. 80, you know how it works? Wow. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think we're done for today. That's all we needed to do, and, and, and we've accomplished it a million times over we've accomplished it this is perfect and honestly i think i might leave the nether portal whoa okay gotta be careful i i might leave the nether portal up here maybe this this is an okay spot for it at least for now it, it would be ideal to put it over there but for now i don't even care i can't even complain we have a mesa biome we have a mesa biome we have the badlands mesa Okay, so look, here's the thing. No matter what we do, this is going to be a long way. It, and I'm thinking about it now. I could, like, totally expand these hallways. For sure, th that would work. Or, I could put the portal on top of the nether. Like, like, we go back to the gold farm, rebuild the portal on top of this spot right here. So if I just write these coordinates down, then whenever I need to go to the mesa, I literally just go above the nether and fly over to it. And I could build, like, a giant marker or something. Yeah, that seems like a smarter idea to me than, than leaving this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this whole portal down for today. And then when we go to the Mesa next episode or, or next time, we just fly right over here. Easy. It, and rebuild it on top of the nether. It'll work just the same. Perfect. Now also, that advancement is going to be for going 7,000 blocks in the overworld. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if we go through the portal, like we're way back at the jungle... That should be more than 7,000 blocks. And we should get an advancement too, all for finding this beautiful biome. Okay, I'll take it. I I'll take it. And ancient debris too. Yeah, you definitely can't forget it. Deal is sold. The sweet nether hub and nether fox have missed you so much. But advancement, are we going to get it? I think we will. We, we should. That was a really long distance, right? Oh, yes. So that's right. That's the advancement right there subspace bubble use the nether to travel seven kilometers in the overworld i think it would be pretty cool to eventually maybe try and check out like all of these advancements and get as many of them as possible maybe even like all of them that could be pretty cool where's the subspace bubble one though is that like in here yeah probably adventure right that's no okay yeah maybe it's another another where where is it well this is awkward i can't find it i, I can't find it anywhere in, in any here Anywhere, not in the nether, not in the overworld. I can't find it, but that's okay. It's time for the comment of the day, episode number 80. I must ask Waddles why the shield hate also automatic wolf farm when? So, up front, I can only answer one of those questions. Automatic wool farm when? I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I keep putting it off, and I keep coming up with other projects that I want to do. I do want to make an automatic wool farm soon. The original plan was to actually, like, put it right in here along the water. But now I built this building, and I'm thinking about maybe more villager buildings in here instead. And then the automatic wool farm somewhere else. So, at some point, I definitely do want to build one in this world. I just don't really know when. It was high on my priorities, but then it kind of just kept moving down, and it's really not a gigantic priority right now. So, let's end the episode off with the expansion of the bee kingdom. I feel like it should probably be time for the adult bees to have more baby bees. Maybe. All we need to do is wait for the other bee to come out. I think it lives somewhere over there. This is one of them. Yes. Hi. How you doing? It all goes full circle. Here you go, here you go. Munch, munch. Mm, munch, munch, baby bee. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Big shout out to my patrons, Ground Crazy May and Archangel. Thank you so much for the support. And I, I will see you all in the next episode of the Minecraft Guide. Correction, I'll see you all in the next video tomorrow. Smash like, subscribe, goodbye.